one more method I'd like to review. It's a Roco method that encompasses grabbing the backboard as part of the bridle in a vertical application. The reason why we do this is we, by grabbing the backboard uh, as part of the, as, of the sked bridling system, what happens when we go to lift this person, there's no patient slag. The backboard stays and moves with the, the sked all the way through the system. And again, it's very important that you understand that the only way I can use this system is if there's a backboard inside the sked. If I'm using a short spinal mobilizer or I'm using nothing in, this, in the sked, I have to do it the traditional way. But if there is the backboard, this is a pretty effective way of doing it. We start off at the top with our two butterfly knots as usual. We come to our top grommet hole, through our next grommet, over the top of that chest strap, through the handle, and then over the top of the, of the waist strap. There's two grommets here, and actually one of these grommets was added by sked for, just for this application. And I can choose either one. It doesn't really matter which one I use, but what I try to do is I try to line it up with the top of one of the handles on the, uh, on the backboard. And the reason why I want to go to the top of the handle is if I go to the bottom, it's going to slide that three or four inches that makes up the handle. So again, we try to find the top of the handle as we're going through. I then come through my grommet from the outside. I take a bite in the rope. I take that bite and I'm going to feed it underneath the backboard and back up through the handle. Once I bring that back up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end I'm going to run the end through that. When I slug this down, what it's going to do, it's going to make a, a month of hitch on this side and a month of hitch on that side that are going to tighten it. But before I tighten that up, I want to make sure I have all the slack out of the bridle system. So what we have to do is we need to come back up and then tighten up the top two straps. All right, so we tighten up the chest. We tighten up the waist. We tuck that in. I work down my bridle to make sure it's nice and tight. Again, the more I can get out of it. By leaving these two loops up, what it allows me to do is by pulling on one of these legs, like in this case I pull on this one, it's getting all of that slack out. Once I got that one tight, then I can do is pull it down and it'll tighten up right around the backboard. I do the same thing on this side. I get the one that's attached to that, tighten that up, pull it down, boom, right around the backboard. We went over the top two straps up here. When we come down to the next strap, we actually want to go underneath it. So we'll come up from underneath that strap with both of our tails. We'll go through our handle and then into this grommet right below the handles. Now we'll tighten up the second part of the, or the bottom half of the skid. Remember, it was a two-fold operation. We did the top, got all the slack out, now we'll do the bottom and we'll get all the slack out also. We curl up the feet like we normally do. And now all I have to do down here is tie off the square knot and two safeties. So that's one way that you can encompass grabbing the backboard as part of your bridle system. Again, what it allows it to do is the backboard stays with the bridle system and travels to the skid and prevents a little bit of the patient drift when he goes into a vertical application.